Hey guys, hi. Once again, welcome back to the session. This is your master DJ Harsh Priyam and I am in front of all of you with a something new. Now, what is this new? So this new is actually the mind maps. Yes, you heard it right. Mind maps. So what is this mind maps? Kya cheez hai yaar? So actually, I'll tell you what this mind maps is all about. So basically, I thought that last, last year also I did this. So I thought that students do actually need during the time of examination ki something should be there where they can revise the entire thing at one place means uh, say for example if you have to revise entire real numbers and if i say that go back to ncert or go back to your notes where i had given all the question and where i had solved everything and revise them then that is not such a feasible option now why not feasible because during examination we have so less time and so high panic is going on that is why it's not even possible to do that much so at that point of time it is very much important for uh, all the students that if something they get ready and cooked just to eat isn't it so there comes the importance of this mind maps so people in this session i am going to tell you all the important things which are there in this chapter real numbers from where you can get maximum questions and on which points you should pay more attention that is going to be the agenda of this session okay now so in real numbers there is only two things that you need to take care the first thing being fundamental theorem of arithmetic now what is this fundamental theorem of arithmetic we have been listening to it since a long time since ages so fundamental theorem of arithmetic in fact i also used to think like this only like what is this fundamental theorem of arithmetic and in book it used to written it used to be written like this like composite number x is equals to p1 into p2 into p3 and like dot 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 p and where p1 p2 p3 are prime numbers like and i always used to think what is this man i really can't understand and then one fine day when uh, i deciphered that this great morse code kind of thing is not actually a code it is just a simple thing which says that it is simple prime factorization so fundamental theorem of arithmetic is nothing but but prime factorization it's another name for prime factorization so say for example whatever number you have let's say say 30 you have so here you have to write 2 into 3 into 5 that's it this is called as fundamental theorem of arithmetic <clears throat> so basically fundamental of theorem of uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic says that whatever number you have you can represent that number as product of primes that is fundamental theorem of arithmetic that's it plain and simple now why i'm saying that this is important because in this chapter real numbers after the exclusion so this year euclid's uh, has been ex excluded from this chapter so after the ex ex exclusion of this euclid thing in real numbers only two things are remaining first thing is finding hcf and lcm so hcf and lcm based question now in this hcf and lcm based question it could be different type of questions like they can give you word problems where you have to ascertain that whether you have to find hcf or lcm or it could be that two numbers are such and such find a number which divides both of them having remainder this something like that and in the same fashion relating with hcf lcm you can even get questions like that two numbers a and b are this their hcf is given this find the lcm or two numbers having hcf and lcm such and such one of that number being x so find the another number so these type of questions you might expect in examination but all of these are related with hcf and lcm only and this year they hold very much importance why because again euclid's division lemma is not there okay now this is the first important thing so now the second important thing is based a little much based upon this only that is this fundamental statement that if p be a prime number and p divides a square then p divides a as well now this is the second most important thing so if you don't remember that where you have seen this type of statement i will make you remember you would have seen it here 
root 2 proving irrational, root 3 proving irrational. Do you remember that we used to write root 2 is equals to p by q and then we used to do squaring with both sides. Then we used to write 2 equals to p square by q square and hence we can write that this going to this side and this going to this side. We can write q square equals to p square by 2. So from here we used to write that p square is divisible by 2. p square is divisible by 2. This means 2 divides p as well. That is p is divisible by 2 also. So this is fundamental theorem of arithmetic which we use in proving irrational numbers. So this is the second most important topic of this chapter. Proving irrational numbers. Proving irrationality. So it's not only restricted to proving root 2 irrational or root 3 irrational. Questions could be even like 5 plus root 2 irrational or root 2 into root 3 irrational. Any of these questions could be there. Okay. I hope you all understand that. Chalo, moving ahead. So let x be a rational number like blah 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 this entire step. I hope you remember this. In case if you have forgotten, please go through them very uh, what you can say with full attention because this is very important only two topics are there in real numbers so you have to just master them okay now moving ahead so this is the entire thing and the last thing which is important is finding the decimal digits like if you have any fraction say for example p by q then you have to pay attention over the denominator their prime factorization so in that prime factorization if the numbers are friend numbers do you remember that concept of friend numbers i had already given you friend numbers so friend numbers simply means 2 and 5 and if you have only 2 and 5 then surely this fraction is going to be terminating isn't it and if you have non friend numbers non friend numbers then in this non friend numbers the number could be anything apart from <clears throat> anything apart from 2 and 5 so at this case you will have non terminating decimal I guess we have talked about this. Next thing here is what is important is that when you have 2 and 5, so after how many places will the decimal terminate? That is the next important part in this chapter. So here I had taught you that always see 2 raised to power m and 5 raised to power n. So take the power of 2 and 5, compare them and whichever is greater that will be your answer. So if say for example m is greater than n. This means that decimal will terminate after m places. Decimal will terminate after, after m places. If say for example m is less than n. So this employs decimal will terminate after n places. So people answer would be whichever is the higher power that will be your answer. Fine. Agreed. Got it. Chalo. And here only you may get one more type of question like prove that 6 raised to power n does not end with 0 or prove that 10 raised to power n will always end with 0 only. So these type of questions again requires just simple concept of prime factorization that you have to multiply 2 and 3. 2 into 3 is 6. So 2 into 3 whole raised to power n you will write and then you will show that it is 2 raised to power n into 3 raised to power n and we do not have 2 and 5 in pair to get a 0 and hence it will never end with 0. So these type of questions again you might find there. So people please pay attention over these things. These all are very simple questions and you can very easily tame them. Fine. Chalo. So in real numbers what we got first of all this fundamental theorem of arithmetic using which you can find you can prove irrationality mm -hmm. and then Going ahead the next step, you may get questions related to terminating and non-terminating decimal where you have to see the fraction p by q format and you have to do the prime factorization of the denominator to find whether is it terminating or non-terminating. If it is terminating, then after how many places will the decimal terminate? Okay, that is there. Now moving ahead. Uh, so and the next part which you have to take care is prime factorization for HCF and LCM. So this HCF and LCM is again an important part. Fine. So in this chapter only these things are important. Please take care of them and I'm damn sure you will master this chapter. Okay people. So that was all folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this video. So all those people who want to join me in crash course in revision courses and want to make their crash course or 
revise their entire mathematics along with me in my live sessions you are more than welcome guys so please do join uh, how you can join this you will find a link in the description box or in the pinned comment that link would be written as vdnt.in slash yt pro you'll find this link so you don't need to write it down just click on this link once you click on this link you'll get all the details before doing the final payment you can use the coupon code HPE pro this coupon code will allow you a extra of 20% discount okay let me just give you an example so say for example you go to the page and there you'll find one month course in 2700 rupees but if you apply this coupon code HPE pro this 27 uh, 2700 will reduce to 2159 similarly for a three month course you'll have to pay 7000 rupees that makes us that makes it 2300 rupees per month so this 7000 fees will reduce down to 5600 rupees with this coupon code okay so apply this coupon code you will be able to get into the session yeah and then we can uh, start our journey of the revision courses and the crash courses in that crash course what you get so you get personalized attention from my side you get doubt support you can ask doubts from me at the same time you get support of test and assignment their evaluation all these things are there in the pro subscription so people balle balle start getting to this pro because batches are going over and uh, surely it's not possible for a teacher to take all the batches so just enroll yourself as soon as possible okay fine so that was all folks do not forget to hit the like button i would be expecting that and subscribe to the channel so that you can keep on getting updates fine so that was all from my side see you all guys in the next session till then bye bye good night